Welcome to the game. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for today's Let's Paint, we're going to go into Blackwater Gulch. Blackwater Gulch is a horror western um, themed uh, skirmish game. Uh, the guy we're going to paint here is a J.W. Clarkson from the Unsung uh, Lawmen. And our first color is going to be Skeleton Horde. He's painted in uh, the Gracier uh, spray primer from Citadel. And... Uh, we're going to do him almost entirely contrast paints, uh, except for the silver and the skin tone. Everything else will be a contrast paint. Uh, so Skeleton Horse, we're going to start with. I'm just using that same layer brush I've been using a lot. Uh, it's starting to get a little frayed, but it still works for me. Uh, and we're going to stop just doing his vest. It, it, any brown will work, whatever brown you like. Uh, it's the Old West, so you can kind of be colorful. Some of the ladies in this group, uh, they'll have like purple dresses or bright yellow dresses and guns. Uh, so, you know, pick your favorite Western movie and uh, go for it. Uh, but for this guy, for JD or JW, I'm sorry, here's what we're doing. Um, just for his vest, um, actually for his, between his vest and his coat, I'm going to do three different browns uh, and I'll cover those when we get there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up and we'll move on to the next color. All right, Black Templar is our next color. I'm going to do his pants and his hat in black. Um, and again, I just put a little on the palette, um, just to have a little more control over it. Don't glob it on. There's, it's too easy to get it onto other stuff, especially on this particular miniature. Um, but you know, get some on your brush and just go to town with it. The black looks really good. I like the way the black it kind of mixes with the dark tones that I'm going for with this particular model. Uh, but make sure you get uh, all the way around, uh, even his cuffs down at the bottom. And uh, I'll go ahead and finish this up and we'll come back and look at the next color. All right, snake bite leather is one of my favorite browns just because it works so well for so many different things uh, we're gonna do the outside of his jacket and the leather strap that's going across his chest with this I'm gonna leave the inside to do in a little bit of a lighter color uh, not really necessary could have done the whole thing but I just thought it would look cool so inside of his coat will be a little different color, but the outside will be snake bite leather. All right, here I'm using Agaros Dunes. It's a little lighter than snake bite leather, not a whole lot, but a little bit lighter brown um, doing the inside of his jacket. And you'll be careful down in between the, you see the inside of his coat, but down between his legs, you gotta make sure you take your time and make sure you get in there. But it's part of the reason that his pants are black, it makes that a little easier. Actually, that wasn't my initial thought for it, but uh, it did help 
make that a little easier to get to. Okay, uh, back to the snake bite leather. Now that his pants are completely dried, uh, I wanted to go back and get the boots with the snake bite leather just to match the coat. And it makes for a great brown boot color. Okay, tanned leather from Army Painter, not a contrast paint. Uh, don't have one for the flesh color I'm looking for. Uh, I did have to mix it with some water. It's a little thick, so make sure you thin it down uh, so that it flows easy for you. Make sure your brush has a nice uh, sharp point on it. And to very carefully get the skin. You've got hands and his face above his uh, kerchief, uh, which is uh, hiding his, the lower half of his face. Apologize about bumping the camera there. Gore Grunt of Fur is a dark brown, um, looks really good. It's a very dark oakish color, I guess, uh, whatever it is. It's a really dark brown. It's really nice, especially for like an axe handle. Uh, comes out really good. So that's why I chose it here. Just doing the axe handle uh, would be it for that color. The gunmetal silver for the bear trap, his sidearm, and the axe blade. Um, not much more to say about that. I mean, you could do it in a different color if you want, but the, the gunmetal works really well. And once that gets washed with a dark tone later, it'll really pop and really look, really look good. Blood Angels Red for his kerchief. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, I use Blood Angels Red a lot. It's a really good, nice, deep red. Shades itself extremely well. Uh, one coat, and uh, it's done. The beauty of the contrast paints. Uh, but just be very careful. You don't want to get it on the skin you've already done. Uh, and you don't want to get it on the brown. So just make sure you have a, you know, a good tip on your brush. Don't overload it. And just be very careful and take your time and work it into those recesses and the paint will do the magic for you. All right, Army Painter's Dark Tone. And again, like I said before, it's really just to cover the silver, uh, the bear trap, his sidearm, and the axe handle.
This one you can go on as heavy as you want. You don't want to go too, too much. You just want to give everything a good, you know, you take the, the heavy shine off of it. This is the Old West. This is not going to have a ton that's super shiny. All right, our flesh wash for the flesh. Kind of self-explanatory. Uh, not going to take a whole lot. You've just got the hands and the little bit of his face that you can actually see. Uh, so just, you know, get it on there to the, it's kind of the shade you want. Uh, it might look a little darker while it's wet, but once it dries and it sits down in the recesses, it's going to look, it's going to look good. So don't go too heavy on it. All right. So I'm back to the Blood Angels Red. Um, mainly to do the design on his hat. Um, I initially had thought I might do gold. Then I kind of thought, eh, it might look a little too much like Coral from The Walking Dead. So I decided to go ahead and go with the red. Uh, I think it comes out pretty good. Uh, again, since I had painted the whole hat black, I did go over it with a little gray sear first, the, the hat band and the emblem in the front so that the red would actually show up. And then just very carefully go over that gray sear with the red just the tip of your brush and uh, you'll be good to go And here he is, J.W. Clarkson, all done, sealed, and based. Uh, like I said, the contrast paints do a really good job, folks. I really like them. Um, I think they make a world of difference. This guy painted up, um, again, it wasn't that long. Uh, about two and a half periods of Game 7 of the 2009 Stanley Cup Finals, uh, in between me watching the Penguins win, uh, so yeah it didn't take a whole lot these guys paint up really quick anyway uh i hope you enjoyed this hope you learned something if you uh have any questions put them down in the comments below and uh thanks for watching